Hi, Jim Carson here from Blackstock, Fort Lincoln, Orangeville, Ontario, and our mod shop today at Bad Dog Mods, 670 Rydell Road. Today, another series in a film about the value of paint protection film, very specifically 3M Pro Series paint protection film and the critical areas on your F-150 that you should be protecting. Now, Shane Legier is our certified installer. He's gone ahead and done the prep work, a little bit of polishing and making sure the paint is perfect before we apply it. We're gonna also demonstrate to you the self-healing properties of just exactly how that works. We'll show you the magic on the camera, how the scratches can disappear and why it's the best film for your new truck. So, Shane, let's talk about the different areas and let's start with what you think is the most important. What's the most important area that you would bare minimal <laughs> want to protect on the F-150? Um, the most important on the F-150, I would probably say the bumper, to be honest with you. Okay. Um, if it's painted, you definitely want to get your bumper protected right at the front of the vehicle. Most of the stones are going to hit your bumper. But another... What if it's chrome? If it's chrome, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even put any film on it. Okay. Plus the PPF won't stick to chrome. Okay. So you can't, you can't do chrome anyways. Um, but if it's painted, yeah, definitely recommend doing the top bumper and the lower bumper. Just, yeah. to, just to save the life of it. I think we've all seen like, you know, the stone chips. If you've ever had a stone hit your windshield, uh, that's a large stone obviously flying a, a great distance in the air. But the small stones that you can't see in, in, in an area that we live, all the gravel trucks that are traveling down the road delivering gravel to the mm -hmm. construction sites, which are everywhere, those stones are laying on the road and that's the stones that the other cars in front of you are picking up, right? And you're gonna get a lot of damage down there. Yeah. We've seen the, the you know, the, it doesn't matter what brand of F-150 or the uh, 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 Rams or, or, or uh, GM trucks, mm -hmm. uh, they, they take a lot of abuse on their bumper. They're built to take abuse, but the stone chips are gonna damage the paint finish for yeah. sure. Yeah, for sure. And it'll probably start rusting over time as well. Okay. You know, so. Uh, outside of the bumper, what's next? Uh, the hood, definitely the hood. Um, the hood piece is important as well. It's, it's a massive surface area, uh, also right at the front of the vehicle. And uh, you do get those stones coming up from the tires of other vehicles hitting hitting that front end of your car. The the question would be, and, and I, I is that this is aluminum, so mm -hmm. uh, it's not going to rust. No, but it'll corrode. But it'll corrode. It, okay. Yeah. yeah, it'll corrode yeah. as soon as you get any little stone chips at the front end of this hood. And we notice on because almost every vehicle today does have an aluminum hood. We notice that corrosion. It doesn't. It, it doesn't. Uh, corrode right through the metal, but mm -hmm. it seems to travel along the surface, and then the, mm -hmm. that that little tiny stone chip, yeah, turns into those ugly silver dollar size. It chips. almost, yeah, it's almost like the paint wants to start to flake off. It, it like bubbles up at the front, you know. As soon as you get those stone chips there, it starts to bubble. Let's talk about the hood and about the different options for the hood, and we're going to cover the rest of the parts of the vehicle that Shane also recommends are a really good idea for you to consider on your F-150. So Shane, just before we get specifically on the hood, uh, terms for all paint protection foam, uh, the thickness of the paint, and by paint we mean primer, base coat, clear coat, the entire thickness is, when it leaves the factory, three and a half to four and a half microns thick. Mm -hmm. The film, which has two, two microns of its own clear coat, that's the self-healing clear coat, the film itself is eight. So you're you're going you're increasing the thickness of your surface, uh, you know, triple. Yeah. Uh, but why is it so? Why is it so important that any little imperfections in the paint, you know, should be polished and corrected first, like a little dust of paint? Um, if you have a little piece of dust even in like in your paint, you're gonna want to sand that down or even polish that down. Sometimes I'll just take my little one inch uh, nano hybrid here and just give it a little polish if it's a small enough area. Um, because what it's gonna do, it's gonna cause a little like ring around that, uh, that piece in the film. And it's also gonna look like, it's just gonna look like dust in the film, right? So it's not gonna be a smooth finish. So, and what's a, what's a really small imperfection in the paint becomes, appears it, that much larger. Yeah, it looks much bigger as soon as you because put the, of the film. Fitness. Yeah. The film. So, as as you put it yeah, over. to demonstrate the film, it comes with this white backing on it, and uh, and then there's the, the adhesive on the other side. But mm -hmm. to show, hold that up, 
if you can, Shane. And uh, you, uh, I'm gonna take a key, and if this, to try and poke through that, and you hold that tight there, and you know. Yeah, it's it's tough. Like, it's, you're not you're not getting anything through. No. Uh, so that that's the value of, of the protection of the film, mm -hmm. and uh, and again, that's if that can relate to you, just how thick we're talking about increasing what comes from the factory, because I think it's important to understand that today's modern automobiles, they're trying to reduce their carbon footprint when they're painting these vehicles, which the thinner the paint they can get, sure, it saves them money, but it also reduces the production time. It also reduces the amount of emissions that are required, emissions that are required to dry and bake that. Paint, right, right, right. Okay, so you've prepped the hood ahead of time. What are mm -hmm. the options on the hood and look, we'll talk about pricing in a second, but what are the different options that you would recommend for the hood in uh, terms of sizes? There's a few different options. If you want to just cover the front nose of the hood, uh, you could go with about an, a 10 inch to 12 inch piece. Um, you can move up from there and go to an 18 inch. Uh, they even have a 24 inch, a 30 inch, or you could just do the, the complete hood if you don't want to see that line going right across your hood. Um, which a lot of people do prefer to not see the line. And, and that, that line, that also is, that's bikini cut versus straight cut, right? Yeah, yeah, there's, there's two options for, uh, for the patterns. There's the bikini, which has the little bit of a curve to it, and then uh, on, on the hood itself, okay. yeah. Um, which is harder to pick up the, the line if you're standing, standing like a few feet back, looking face onto the truck. Or there's the other option where it's just straight across, which I don't know, I think it, I prefer the bikini cut, to be honest, it just looks cleaner um, and it is harder to pick up, pick up that line. And, and because we have this Graftec plotter behind us here, mm -hmm. that's what makes it possible to cut that perfect little bikini line there, a very yeah. slight bend, you could never do that by hand. No, no. So the wouldn't. straight edge goes back to the old days where you're just using a straight piece of film, put it on and cut off the excess this yeah. way, right? Yeah. So, so today's modern, it's almost all bikini. Yeah, mostly. And this first eight, 10 inches, uh, uh, it, uh, it surprised me when you were telling me earlier about the amount of film that, for example, an Escape, a Ford Escape, actually takes more film mm. to cover the first 10 inches than an F-150 does just because of the curvature of the hood. Yeah. There's a lot of wastage in it. Yeah. So prices vary a little bit, but pretty much how much would the starting kit cost? Um, to start off, you're probably looking around 300 bucks okay. to do uh, to do a hood piece, and I can go. I can go if you want to do your full front end. You can get right up to about 16 to 1800 bucks. And um, full so front it, end would be full hood. Yep, full hood, full fenders, full bumper, and your headlights. Oh, that's that's good value. Yeah, uh, and, your best, and you don't have to deal value. with a line, and that eliminates a lot of stuff. Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's move on to the next critical area. We've talked about the bumper, and but very specifically on the F series painted bumpers, painted not bumpers, chrome. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and the hood piece um, and different sizes uh, replaces the, the those what we used to call bug deflectors. They're still called bug deflectors, mm -hmm. and, uh, and they can be kind of ugly. I mean, they, they do the job. Yeah. Uh, but we know that they, you get a lot of wind noise off of those too. I mean, there's some downsides to it, right? Yeah, yeah. I'd say more risk of it flying up too than <laughs> than paint protection film. This isn't going to come up at all. Right. Okay. So, much better tack. Let's look at some of the pieces you recommend on the F-150. All right. Cool. Okay. Let's demonstrate what we mean by self-healing properties of the 3M Pro Series uh, protection film. I can't believe I'm going to do this a beautiful, gorgeous F-150, and I've gone to the mechanic shop, I've got a wire brush from cleaning the battery terminals. You would never do this on your own paint, and Shane has talked me into it's gonna work. So I put some scratches in here with this wire brush, and uh, ooh, that is nasty. Okay, those scratches, if you can see them on there, You can see those in there. Oh, that's just nasty, just nasty. So, those are gonna disappear. We're not gonna stop the camera, and Shane is just gonna hit it with heat. And uh, let's see if he's right. 
So the self-healing principle, you wouldn't obviously need to take a hairdryer to your car. The sun's natural heat just outside will close the pores of the film and causing these scratches to disappear. We're just gonna accelerate the process here with the heat gun. And you gotta be careful not to burn the film. You just need slight amounts of heat. I'll move the light around there and look at that. Look at that. They're virtually disappearing. All the pores of the film are just closing together. And that is the value of the 3M self-healing film. All right, next area of uh, protection obviously is gonna be the roof. Uh, and uh, tell us about why the roof is an important area. Um, I'd say it's an important area because a lot of the stones will roll up this windshield and hit the front lip of, uh, of your roof. So you would want to have that protection there to avoid any, uh, any damage to your paint. Um, also, if you're driving a truck, a lot of times people are lazy and, <laughs> and don't clean, clean the roofs. Well, it's, it's, you know, it's I mean, it's, 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 it's exactly, you know, it's hard high. To get up there. Um, so you get tons of bugs that will just smack into your into your roof and it'll just get caked on there and eventually it'll it'll ruin your paint. Um, so it's another or tree sap. Yeah, tree sap, tree sap as well. And in installing it in terms of the installer's skill level and technique, it's important to get it around this edge here, right? Yes, definitely. I mean um, the film is cut out the computer to the shape of this roof. Yep. But that doesn't necessarily mean that that it makes it so easy to wrap around what we call uh, covering the edges yeah exactly a lot of people will just put it right along the edge and you're gonna get a stone chip like right underneath that film like it's just always gonna hit that that front lip so that's the roof and mm -hmm. while you're up there uh, we might as well talk about uh, I know you talk a lot to me about these a pillars and and it's a small inexpensive piece to do the a pillars yeah, uh, you know, in terms of skill level, it's quick and easy to do. Yeah, uh, it doesn't cost the customer a lot, particularly when they're already here getting, say, the roof done. Mm -hmm. Get the A pillars done, and why is that? You might as well do the A pillars as well, because again, you're just going to get those stones coming right up this windshield, and it'll nick the side here. Um, it usually goes with the with the roof piece, like it lines up perfectly. Like the A pillar piece will line up with the roof pattern, so it's a good option to do and also the bugs as well, like you were saying before. All right, let's go on to the next area that uh, customers gonna get a lot of value on putting the 3M paint protection film, Pro Series film, on their F-150. Okay, uh, the side mirrors. Now, not every F-150 has painted side mirrors. If they're not painted to match, uh, mm -hmm. chrome, I would assume, what you told me about the bumper, the same would apply to the mirrors, if it's chrome mirrors. Yeah. You're wasting your money, don't bother. Yeah. Uh, if, but what if it's this black plastic that... Uh, if it's the black textured plastic like this, the, the film won't stick to it. Um, so you can't do those pieces. You can only do it if it's painted. And the black plastic is not got paint, so they're not likely to get a stone chip. No. But speaking of which, this is a, this is a pre-owned vehicle with 20,000 kilometers on that we're using for our demonstration. And, and we went to do the mirror uh, and look at this. It's already got a nasty, nasty chip uh, right there that you can see. So uh, that wouldn't be there if you've got the film on. Mm -hmm. And again, this is depending on the mirror, right? This is coming around these complex corners and wrapping a whole mirror. Uh, it, it, it's about customer value. So mm -hmm. not only is it, you know, okay, it's only a little bit more film, but to wrap around these corners and do this whole mirror, you know, would take a lot of excess film to stretch it over and a lot of time yeah. with not so much benefit, right? Right. So the, the pre-cut pieces are just going to be this forward-facing surface, making it very inexpensive to add, particularly if you're already here getting work done. I mean, it's just, yeah. you know, a minor piece. And if you're doing the full front end, you know, just include the mirrors for the guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you might as well do the mirrors if you're, do, if you're going to do the full front end because mirrors do get hit yeah. with stones. You'd well, we know that. If, yeah. <laughs> Proof's in the pudding right there. Yeah. Okay, so mirrors. Uh, next one, let's, uh, let's go to the next one, and it's one of my pet peeves is those gloss black 
B pillars. Okay. And uh, we haven't even looked yet, but I know what I'm going to see on a truck with 20,000 kilometers. It's going to be some scratches for sure. For sure. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, so maybe we'll have a look at, let's go look at those right now. Cool. So Shane, I've been asking you as the expert of your areas, but uh, I'm going to jump in and be my own expert here because I've driven so many F-150s. It drives me crazy, this piano black plastic that in the sun, the scratches that come on. And it's not just the Ford, you see it, the GM now is using it on the nose of their truck and you see it on you know many different vehicles, the RAV4s, but, but these big gloss plastic ones, they scratch so easy. Yeah. And, and when you put the sun on it, I um, mean- a light, I'll put this light on it. And yeah, so just, if I mean, tons of I got a beautiful, beautiful truck that I'm so proud yeah. of, but this just makes me cringe. Maybe it's my OCD, I don't know, but, uh, on the driver's side where you have the keypad uh, and you know it's just inviting your fingers to take that dust it almost seems like static electricity is mm -hmm. holding that fine dust right on this piano black and it just you, you can't help but scratch it you just yeah. wipe that off with a microfiber once and it's done yeah and but with the paint protection film it just totally disappears and that self-healing property it's really where this, I just love that, you know, because yeah. it's it's black, it's gonna get heat, it's gonna be in the sun, you're just never gonna have to deal with it again, and it's so inexpensive, I think it's $80 a pair uh, on an F-150 is what to charge that, right? Yep. Uh, so, you know, um, and again, if it's, the prices, if it sounds variable, the prices can vary because you've gotta prep the vehicle with a wash and everything, right? Mm -hmm. So if it's part of doing other materials and packages, it's it's a lot more cost effective, right? Yeah, for sure. And uh, do you uh, do you polish these before? Yeah, usually I will polish them, especially if they got tons of scratches, which yeah. they usually do. Yeah. Um, I mean, the film will hide scratches, but if they're deep enough, you want to give it a little bit of a polish before you apply. Yeah, we can the see this. There's a nasty scratch all the way through this one. Yeah. Uh, among several, so uh, um, that's uh, once you're done, that's going to be fixed for sure. So let's check you out. Okay. Okay, Shane, let's, uh, next area, your pet peeve. Um, door cups. A lot of people don't realize it, but you get tons of scratches inside your door cups here from people just, you know, their rings or even their nails. It gets a lot of uh, action here, right? Um, everyone's open and closing their doors. For sure. So it's just, it's an easy piece to do. It's small, it's cost effective. So yeah, I would definitely recommend doing some, doing all your door cups. And unlike those, you know, scratches that if they happen somewhere else, I mean, mm -hmm. it's part of what you also do is paint correction. Yeah. So you can repair those, but to get in here and polish that. It's tricky. It's a challenge, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Door cups. Good idea. Thank you. All right. Uh, continuing on areas to protect with 3M Pro Series paint protection film on your F-150. You got the door open, so I know where you're going. Yeah. So if you're going to do your door cups, I would say do your door edges as well. Um, it's about a one inch piece. It'll cover just this lip right along the, right down to the bottom. Um, you never know when you're opening your door, wind takes it, you bang, bang something, right? Garage wall. Garage, yeah, anything. You know, uh, underground parking, those cement block things. Yeah, yeah it happens yeah. It happens more often than not. So uh, a good spot to do is, yeah, right along this, uh, and, right along this edge. And that comes on a roll. You don't even do that one wet. You don't have to go through the complex process. You do other stuff, right? So yeah. for that matter, it, you could do it, do it yourself if you wanted to buy the whole roll, but get mm -hmm. it from us and we'll just uh, put those door edges on for you. Very, very interesting. Yeah, for sure. All right. Thanks, Shane. Right. Okay. A, an area that gets overlooked, another area, very cost effective to do, but uh, it's the door sills, which are not going to get stone chipped in the normal manner we think about stone chips, obviously. Right, Shane? If you're wearing boots and you've got the metal rings on the side of your boots, I've got shoes on right now, but you know, you mm -hmm. get in and out and you've got gravel stuck in your boot, you are going to scratch these lower door cells. And you know, yeah, for for the cost of it, again, a simple piece to do, right? Yep, definitely. It's about, I usually do a four inch piece, about two feet, two feet long. And it covers most of this area where, uh, where you're gonna get a lot of traffic with your with your boots. Well, and I can tell you that uh, my dog 
yeah. uh, is uh, uh, not the most careful around my paint. <laughs> and uh, sometimes uh, she'll jump in and uh, sometimes she'll uh, scratch her way in. And I've noticed, uh, unfortunately, she's scratched my door sills before just with her, with her nails. Yeah. Yeah, good area to do. Thanks for that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, well, we had the door open and we're talking about the interior. There are occasions where there's interior door pieces that maybe have that gloss piano black finish and stuff. Uh, again, often you, you can do those and there's either patterns to cut them out uh, mm -hmm. or we can just manually uh, make kits up for that, right? Yep. Yeah, so, there's, uh, there's a bulk piece uh, of film. And... But fair to say the point of this video is the most important and critical, so I, I wouldn't consider the interior as necessarily that, but the door sills on the inside, definite. Yeah, yeah, 100%. All right, got a couple more areas to cover. Uh, let's talk about those and uh, wrap it up. Mm -hmm. uh, Shane, you wanted to talk about headlights. I can see why, I mean, they're so flat. Yeah, they're flat and it's a it's a big headlight too on these trucks, so you're gonna get a lot of a lot of stones hit. It's just it's gonna make it look like crap over time. It's gonna look like sandblasted almost, you know, small yeah. small little you see stones. That, yeah, and then they, it, and it it dulls the lights out right. when it when that happens, right? So uh, the film and or the it, light, sorry. The film all, you know also has a UV screen in it too, mm -hmm. right? So it stops them from going yellow and stops anything from yeah. fading. And, and, exactly. And good and time then, to talk about that through this whole video. We haven't talked about 3M's 10-year warranty against the film going yellow. It never goes yellow. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It it always looks just as bright and clear as it did, and, and certainly on a white vehicle that's super important. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important on any vehicle, but it's important on these headlights too. Yes, like for sure. All right, headlights and pretty inexpensive to do too, right? Yeah, not no, a lot of work involved. They got to be cleaned. Obviously, they got to be prepped and polished if they're already used. But flat and easy way to go. Yep, it's part of the front end package. Yes, if you're gonna do the full front end, that that uh, gets included in that package. Great. Okay, uh, let's uh, wrap it up. I think with one more really important area, particularly for any of you that like to modify your trucks or like a, an aggressive tire, four-wheel drive tires or aftermarket tires, say that then the hybrid or all-terrain, you know, of course, lifted trucks, and that's the rockers. Let's go look at those. All right, Shane, uh, rockers and uh, the stones being thrown up by the tires. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, four-wheel drive, obviously, uh, is gonna have a more aggressive tire pattern. It's gonna kick more stones up, but yeah. uh, what about this area? What do you like about it and why do you recommend it? Um, well, like you said, tires kick up stones all the time, especially if you get upgraded tires. Um, and most of your chips happen in, in this area, um, from this body line right down. Um, it's, it's an easy piece, it's flat. Um, it doesn't take too long to do, it doesn't take too long to install. Um, so doing, yeah, doing the rockers are definitely one of the top spots to protect on these vehicles. And you do it right from this body line, so you don't actually even see a line. Yeah, you won't, you won't see the line at all with this kit because it'll come right into that little, into that little groove there. Yeah. And it'll hide, hide that top line. This uh, on the 21 F-150s, I've had people comment about this little piece back here that's put on there for fuel economy. How much fuel economy can that be saving? And it, it doesn't do anything. It's not there for stone chips because it's in the wrong direction. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you want, just ask us and uh, we'll unbolt that and throw that away, uh, mm -hmm. that ugly little piece. But you, when you're doing the rockers, you would be all the way back here. Yes, and it would go right to, the, right to the back of the vehicle. All the way back and behind the rear tire. Yeah. Which are gonna spin, right? Exactly. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. Okay. Well, that's great. Uh, I think you covered a lot of great areas, and uh, you know these F-150s with these aluminum bodies will, you know, will last forever. You know, for uh, for obviously rust-free, no rust. Uh, the, the stones, though, breaking the the paint will cause corrosion. You know, chips are ugly. Yeah. You spend a little bit of money. You spend a lot of money on a new vehicle. Uh, you've got the best truck on the market, in my opinion, and the aluminum body is going to last a super long time. Just adding the paint protection film in these key areas that Shane Legere, our certified 3M installer, has pointed out uh, is really important. And so I want, to, uh, I want to again remind you that we're here at Bad Dog Mods. We are a certified 3M installation center, as is Shane Legere. We're a division of Blackstock Ford Lincoln. We do it here all directly, uh, no middlemen. 
The 3M Pro Series film comes with a 10 year warranty against peeling, cracking, yellowing. And if, if you ever have any problem with the film, we're gonna look after you, Shane's gonna look after you, and he's gonna, more importantly, do it right the first time so you're not gonna have a problem with it. Mm -hmm. So, for now, I wanna thank Shane, talking about the F-150 most critical areas to protect with 3M Pro Series paint protection film. Thank you for watching. For more information, just check us out at blackstockford.com or baddogmods.com, both located here in Orangeville, Ontario. Thank you.